this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to create uh, rays of light going through trees to make your photos a little bit more dramatic. So if you have like a standard photo here as I do of a tree in a park, uh, what we can do here to make this more exciting is to have bursts of light coming through the trees here, through the, the, the leaves, and actually having that also cast the light here uh, and the shadow uh, on the ground. So the way that we do this is uh, we go into our channels, and if you don't have this here, you just go to Window and Channels. And in the channels, we want to pick the channel with the most contrast. Normally, this would be the blue one. Let's have a look. So we click on the red, the green, and the blue. You can see that the blue usually has more contrast than a photo. So we're going to select the blue here and we're going to duplicate that layer. So we're going to click and drag to the new paper icon, duplicating it. And in the blue copy, we're going to go into Image, Adjustments, and Levels. And in the levels, we're going to make it a lot darker. Now what we're looking to do is to have the image essentially just black or white. So we want just the sort of like the, the specks of color here, the, the, of the, the light to sort of be shining through and we don't want much else coming through to the background. So in the case of this photo here, it's at here around 144, 150. So we'll click OK. And now we're going to select this layer. We're going to make the selection of this layer. So we're going to go to Control. You can see a little a hand icon changes there. So Control and click, we have that selection there. Now we're just going to click back here into our RGB layer. So we're back into our regular image. We're going to go into our Layers palette, create a new layer, and fill it in with white. So I'm just going to do a uh, control and backspace since it's my background color here at the moment and uh, fill that in with white so we have that white selection here. Okay, I'm going to deselect. I'm going to duplicate this layer and now we're going to go into filter, blur, and radio blur. And in the radio blur what we want to do here is we want to uh, apply an amount that is around uh, 50 here, 50 or 60, you can see what it's doing here. Uh, make sure that it is on zoom, yours might be on spin, we don't want that. We want it on zoom, right, to create the, the rays of light coming through. So we're going to put the amount here around uh, 60 or so. Make sure the quality is at best and click OK. And uh, you can see that there's like, now there's like this burst of light going through here. One thing to pay attention, let me just go back and redo this here for you real quickly, is that if we go blur and uh, radio blur, you want to pay attention. Now in my photo it's fairly centered here, right, with the, the area of uh, the, the image here, the the point where the tree is. It's fairly focused uh, focused in the center and it's actually fairly square so uh, it makes it seem like the you know this, this is perfectly built for this, but if you have other images uh, pay, don't pay attention to whether or not it's like perfectly square or not. Just if your image is, you know, like tall like this, and pretend this is the whole area. And depending on where the center of the image is, you want to modify that to reflect that, right? So wherever the center of the burst of light would be, you want to sort of visually uh, apply that. There's no way to preview this, unfortunately, but uh, you can do it and then undo and do it again until you get it right, right? So. Just going to click OK, so that's pretty good on this image here. And now what we want to do is uh, free transform this. So we're going to go into Control and T to do the free transform. And now with the uh, Alt and Shift, holding down Alt and Shift, we're going to expand. Now we're expanding this ray of light, and you can see as we start to expand, you can see it starting to move. We're going to expand that to make that ray of light come out of the tree more, right? So we're going to do that and click OK. So there we are. So we've expanded that. And you can also reposition it if you like. right? So now we have the ray of light. And you can reposition it uh, as you see fit. So I think somewhere around there, that something like that works quite well. And uh, we want to now unview here layer 1 for now. And uh, you can see that we have some sort of like array of you know, light or whatever coming uh, outside of the tree as well. It's just a, a byproduct of our selection, right? You might think this is actually okay. This is kind of like a cool nifty effect, but uh, I just want to show the, the ray of light coming through just the tree, uh, the leaves here, not outside, even though this is kind of a cool effect. So what we can do here to block that out is uh, to add a layer mask. And with that layer mask, with black, we're going to just uh, remove the the burst here on those on the outside here. So we're just doing that real quick. 
Okay, so we just have just the ray of light there. And what we can also do is duplicate that layer to make it more intense, right? So if you wanted to make it more intense, right now it's a little bit too much, so I'm just going to bring it down a little bit here to about like a 50% or so. All right, and I'm just going to tweak here our uh, mask here just a little bit more. There we are. Okay, so we're quite good on the, the front here of bringing that ray of light forward, right, coming through the leaves. But we also want to have something going on here at the bottom, reflecting that with the reflection of that. So what we want to do here is go back into our layer one. We haven't done much with that yet. Go into our layer one here. We're going to go into Edit, Transform, and uh, Flip Vertical. So we're flipping it vertically. Now we're going to uh, move that layer down to the bottom. Hold down Shift to move it down centered. So now it's upside down. And now we're going to go ahead and do another free transform, Control and T. And just going to move it down without holding any Shift or Alt or anything. Just move it down and we're going to be squishing it. And you want to squish it till it starts to match the tree, right? So the, like the, the horizon here is around here. And this is sort of like where the reflections are sort of hitting here. So you can see that the, the logic of it is that there wouldn't be any reflections here just up in the sky, right? So it has to be down in the ground. So somewhere around there is where there would be some reflections of the leaves coming through the ground, through the trees, and down to the ground, right? So we're going to go ahead and click OK for that. And now all we need to do is just uh, change our mode here to overlay, right? And uh, there we are. So you can see that that's added a bit of the, the, the flakes there. And once again, you can sort of, you can choose to keep this area here that's a little bit lighter, but it helps to find the tree or you can cut it off. I actually quite like this here as it is because it actually is, like I said, helping to find the tree and making it a little bit more obvious what's going on. So I'm going to leave this here and uh, we're, we're done essentially. So let me just show you here the before and the after. So this is the before, quite, you know, standard photo, and the after with, you know, a little bit more emotional with that burst of light coming through the leaves and uh, falling down on the ground. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.